We're here with Chaz Middleton and a very interesting airplane, uh, Chaz, that you own here and fly. We had the privilege of seeing this at the Flying Cruising in Marion uh, last year. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Chaz, and, and what got you interested in, in this type of airplane. Well, I'm uh, from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm a dentist here in town. Um, well, I enjoy flying. I love airplanes. A friend of mine uh, flies at Classic Jets and got me interested in flying Classic Jets. So um, this one came up for sale and I bought it and he taught me how to fly it. His name's Dave Van Leer. Uh, maybe you've heard of him. And um, I've had it for four years. I have a good time. Go to some air shows, and Oshkosh and Marion in particular. Well, we appreciate that. And well, tell us a little bit about it. It's what kind of what is this? What is this called? This is a Casa Saida. Uh, it, it's a uh, Spanish ground attack and primary trainer for their air force. And they retired these in the early 1980s, and they sold them mostly to the United States to purchase for private use. You told me uh, just a few days ago you were down to Athens, Georgia. Right. How long would it take you to leave uh, Huntington here and fly down to Athens? It takes about an hour and a half to get down to Athens. Uh, it's about 400 nautical miles. Uh, I cruise about 275 knots is what I file for. And I burn about 300 gallons worth of fuel doing that. So you can go up to the flight levels. It is a pressurized airplane. It's uh, pressurized and it's uh, certified for 40,000 feet. But I fly usually in the low 20s. Uh, it's a good altitude for this airplane. Uh, you get a lot better fuel burn down low with a jet. This jet in particular on takeoff burns about 250 gallons an hour. Up at altitude in the low 20s, you can get that down to 125 easy. So you're burning half the fuel and you're going a lot faster up there. So that's the way to cruise. So you like to get up as fast as you can? If I'm going cross country, and I don't do much of that. Most of my flying is right here around Huntington and a um, little aerobatic practice and, and uh, fun, just fun flying. What year was this airplane um, built? This is built in 1963. The first one was built in 1955. And it was designed by Willie Measuresmith shortly after World War II, and it was, uh, you've heard of him before? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he's the, uh, this is, I believe this is the last plane that he designed that was actually built. So there's a lot of German engineering in this. It's a very strong plane, easy to operate, easy to maintain, and uh, it's easy to fly. It just about anybody that can fly a 150 could fly this plane. It uh, just, just goes a little faster. It's a nice plane to fly. Was it built by the Spanish? Or? Yes, it's built by the Spanish. <clears throat> um, they didn't have a jet engine factory, so the engines are French. But uh, it, was, it was built right in Spain. They built them from 1955 until about 1972. And then they retired them and tore them apart and sold them. How many, do you have any idea how many might be flying in our country? You know, I'll bet there's at least 30 to 40 of these out there flying right now. Um, and then there's a few still in the boxes that can be purchased uh, if you're lucky enough to find one. And you can have somebody put it together, you can put it together yourself. They are in the experimental category, so you are able to work on them yourself if you know that much about mechanical work. I don't work on it myself. Uh, Fort Wayne Air Service here does a lot of my work, and uh, there's a couple other mechanics I let work on it. Well, it's a very interesting airplane, and we appreciate you sharing it with us. Uh, people really enjoyed it over in Marion, and uh, we hope uh, you'll think about coming this year to the Marion Fly-In Cruising. Oh, I'm going to be there. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you, Chaz. Mm -hmm.